three absolute kings in the drone world. We've got the newly released Mini 5 Pro versus the Air 3S versus the Matic 4 Pro. With the Mini 5 Pro, uh, it does have a one inch CMOS sensor. It's the first time we've seen a one inch sensor on a mini drone. It does still have true vertical video. It can capture 50 megapixel stills. It, the camera system is a 24 millimeter equivalent with the aperture of 1.8 and it also features a medium teller mode. So it's basically digital cropping. It's not a separate camera system, but that allows a 48 millimeter equivalent and they call it a medium teller mode. So the Mini 5 Pro can capture 4K 60 frames per second HDR video. It can also capture 4K 120 frames per second uh, with slow motion. And then on top of that, we get 10 bit video options with up to 14 stops of dynamic range. Now if we look at the Air 3S. This is the only drone in the offering that doesn't have true vertical video. But what you do get here is a dual camera system. So you're getting a one inch CMOS sensor, similar to what we see on the Mini 5 Pro. It is a 24 millimeter equivalent and an aperture of 1.8. So on paper, it's identical to the Mini 5 Pro. And then we've got that backup system, that medium telephoto system, which is a one over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor. It's a 70 millimeter equivalent and the aperture is 2.8. And so you're either getting 50 megapixel or 48 megapixel stills here, depending on whether you're using the one inch sensor or the one over 1.3 inch sensor. And then we've got a lot of similarities here again. So it does actually capture 4K 60 frames per second HDR. You're getting 4K 120 frames per second slow motion, and we're getting 10 bit up to 14 stops of dynamic range. The Mavic 4 Pro is a triple camera system. It is their flagship camera system, and it does have the Hasselblad name associated with the main four over three inch CMOS sensor. It can capture 6K footage up to 60 frames per second HDR, so a huge leap over the other two. And you can also capture 100 megapixel stills as well, which is huge, and it features slow motion at 4K up to 120 frames per second as well with that main camera system. So we're getting some similarities here with the 70 millimeter. So it's a one over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor, 70 millimeter equivalent. Uh, the aperture is F 2.8. It can capture 48 megapixel stills and you can capture up to 4K 60 frames per second HDR with that medium telephoto system. And then if we're looking at the Tele system, which is that significantly zoomed system. It is a one over 1.5 inch CMOS sensor, 168 millimeter equivalent with an f-stop of 2.8. You can capture 50 megapixel stills and you can also capture 4K 60 frames per second in HDR. 